Hi there, Jana Stagel here. And I just wanted to share an idea that I did at my party last night that worked like a charm. And it was to get more parties on the calendar. I looked at my fall party schedule and thought I've got to do something to get more parties on the calendar. So when I went to my party last night, I brought a few things with me. I brought three um, sets of Mardi Gras beads and a little gift. And so what I did when I got to the party, I talked to the host and told her I wanted to try a new idea. I said, are you up for this? And she said, absolutely. So what I did was put the beads around her neck before the guest arrived, and I told her that during the party, I would refer to these beads as the party beads, and told her that for each set of beads that she gave away to people that wanted to book parties, she would get a half price item for each bead that somebody took from her. And um, kind of as to add a little fun factor to it, I told her if she gets rid of all three beads, that I would would have a little extra gift for her and I had that all wrapped up ready to go so she was up for the challenge so during my party presentation I made reference to the party beads and I didn't actually do it right away there were some new people there and you know I had to kind of give them a chance to to find out if they liked me if they liked tastefully simple so I didn't talk about the party beads quite yet I waited until we passed around probably about four or five samples and then I said okay everybody you probably noticed the beads around Tara's neck let me tell you all about those they are called party beads and so how this works is for each person that books a party from Tara we will get take a set of beads and you get to take a set of beads and when you come to check out, we will kind of pick a date that works for you and I. So at any point during the party, if you know you want to book a party, let Tara know, let myself know, and we will get you a set of beads. And so exactly what happened, what I was hoping would happen, it did. The host, Tara, started edging people on, saying, Sue, I think you should have a party. And somebody else said, Michaela, you should have a party. And so what happened after I explained the beads, literally 30 seconds later, Later, Michaela said, I'll have a party. And so great. We took the beads off Tara, put them on Michaela. Everyone clapped. It was so exciting. And I said, okay, who's going to take the second set of beads? And right away, literally right away, Patty said, I'll take the second set. Awesome. So it just kind of created this excitement and we had one set of party beads left around Tara's neck. And so every time I did a sprinkle, whether it was telling them that what they could earn um, for free when they had a party and I talked about our September host special. So every single booking sprinkle, I referred to the party beads and said, Tara has one more set to give away. And don't forget, she'll get to open up our wonderful little gift here um, when she gives the third set away. So literally by the end of the party, before we even got to check out, I had Jessica say at the end, okay, I'll take the last set of beads. And so awesome. So Tara was able to open up her little gift. So I went home with three new parties on the calendar and it was so cool. They came to check out, they had their beads on. So right away I grabbed my calendar. Okay, let's pick a date that works for the two of us. Um, so you're probably wondering what is in the bag? What gift did I give to her? Well, if you know me at all, you know that I am very frugal. And um, I really feel that it's important to think about your profitability when you do gifts like this. So I'm all about looking for bargains and really just kind of giving them a smaller gift. And really, they don't care. They just want to open the gift. They really don't care what's inside of it. So what I gave my host last night, Tara, was a little onion onion packet which we can get these for a dollar ninety nine but after our discount let's see I wrote it down about a dollar forty but I felt like I needed a little bit more to, to give with this so what I did was went to the Christmas tree shop and found this cute little almost like our little dip crop comes with a lid on sale for a dollar forty nine so hello what a deal another idea that I'm gonna do for another host is I found these little hot cold drinks at Kohl's for 49 cents on the bargain table. You can't lose. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it with the itty bitty chai um, to kind of go along with it. And we also have the hazelnut dream and the caramel cocoa. We can get those for about $2.09. So makes a great little pairing. Something else I found at the Christmas tree shop was this cute little olive bowl. I don't know if you can see with a little spreader. So stinking cute. And this, again, was $1.49. Gotta love it. 
Um, another idea here, a couple more ideas. I found this at the Christmas tree shop. It's just a little cutting board, 99 cents. Um, it's amazing what the dollar store has too. Like they have a whole kitchen aisle. So go there, look for things. There's really cheap, good stuff out there. Um, another idea is our little cheddar broccoli instant soup mix. And I do try to in with the gift, give something tastefully simple. I think that kind of helps advertise our business. So with this cheddar broccoli instant soup mix, we can purchase this part one retail in the box and it comes with three of them. So after our discount, it comes to about $2.10 for one little packet. So I've, I know I've seen and I gotta go shopping for little soup mugs at the Christmas tree shop or the dollar store for a dollar. You can get like a nice little soup mug and that would be a great little pairing as well. So again, it's not about the gift. Don't go overboard. I challenge you if you're gonna try this idea to just find something that's like $3 or $4 at the most and kind of go from there. And the beads, you can even get the beads. I got an eight pack of beads at the dollar store. So these are even affordable. Um, so there is my party bead idea. Um, if you give it a try, please let me know. And you know, you could even bring five beads. We can give up to five half price um, items for each party. So why not think big? My goal last night was three parties, but afterwards I was like, hmm, maybe I should have brought five beads with me. So you do what's good for you. And again, if you try this idea and it works for you, please let me know. Have a good one.